Hey everybody, I'm Seth Goldman and here is your entertainment buzz. Celebrity Scoop. We'll get to our Tina Fey poll in a sec, but first, the world's most famous recovering sex addict is out of rehab. David Duchovny's lawyer says the actor has successfully completed his two-month treatment. In fact, he was seen arm in arm over the weekend here in New York with wife actress Taya Leone. They have two kids together, so the X-Files is now going to start work on a new movie. Meanwhile, Britney Spears has her own hands full these days. A new single on the airwaves, a new album in December, a possible tour. And now, could Britney be heading to Broadway? While here in New York last week, the Trouble Star stopped by to see In the Heights. And sources tell the Daily News Britney may be searching for a part to make her stage debut. In the meantime, you can catch Spears in her newest music video for Womanizer. That's out on Friday. But if you can't wait until Friday for that dose of entertainment, tune in to NBC Live from New York on Thursday night. Or are we not doing the talent portion? <laughs> yep, expect more jabs at Sarah Palin as well as more political humor every Thursday night through Election Day on special 30-minute versions of Weekend Updates. And speaking of SNL, that's our topic of the poll this week. I want to know, what do you think of Tina Fey's impersonation of Sarah Palin? If you love it, text Z1 to 46833. Z2 if you hate it. And Z3 if you'd rather see Britney Spears do it. Wait a minute, how'd that get there? <laughs> and I'll hook you up with the results in another dose of Celebrity Scoop on Thursday afternoon and standard text rates apply. All right, that is your entertainment buzz, Celebrity Scoop. And on Wednesday, the buzz is going one-on-one -on -one with Dennis Quaid, star of the new sports drama NBC Universal's The Express. For now, I'm Seth Goldman for NBC Mobile in New York.